the transition from a Honeywell TDC 3000 system over to Delta B, one of the most common concerns that our customers have is how long it's going to take to cut over between the two systems and the amount of shutdown time that that would require. We've got a great solution for dealing with this, and I want to show you how it works. So in a Honeywell system, all your field wiring is coming into field termination assemblies, or FTAs, which are then wired over to the I.O. cards. If the field wiring is good, a lot of users are interested in trying to cut over at this point because that saves them a lot of effort in rewiring each of these physical wires. The problem is if you do that, you might leave behind legacy components, which can be a source of future failures. So we have a little bit different approach. We use something called a replacement FTA. The replacement FTA fits the exact form factor as the Honeywell FTA. It uses the same compression terminals, and they're all labeled exactly the same. So this could decrease the rework on any existing drawings. In situations where, you, you know, like on discrete channels where you have uh, optos or relays on your FTAs, we provide new ones that match the spec of the Honeywell FTAs that they're replacing. So you don't have to do a lot of field survey and understand what's wired up to each channel. Now these replacement FTAs are pre-wired to the Delta V system. This could go to any type of Delta V IO. So to do the cutover, all you have to do is remove the field wiring from the Honeywell FTA here and land it on its replacement and your cutover is done. We also have solutions to help ease the transition for operators during an extended cutover scenario, such as a phased cutover or a hot cutover. The IOPS workspace solution brings both the legacy system and the Delta V system into one common console, so the operator can use just one keyboard and mouse to operate both. If you need a richer solution, we have the Delta V Connect for Honeywell product, which offers a bridge to connect between the LCN and the Delta V network to bring all that data across into the Delta V HMI.